welcome back on our youtube channel so in this video we will cover the second part of the book wellness revolution written by as you already know paul zand pilzer two time economist of usa and we will cover second part of this summary book so let's have a quick look the four key wellness investments main idea the four key areas in which entrepreneurs can benefit by preparing wellness products now and then waiting for the market to come to them are first is food and dietary supplements second is wellness oriented medical products and services third is wellness financial services and insurance fourth is distribution systems which handle wellness products so let's start with the first idea food and dietary supplements there are two major problems with the current food supply first people are eating too much with almost 35% of the food being consumed today having calories derived from fat the main reason we eat too much is it takes 10 to 15 minutes for our hunger to become sated therefore when people eat quickly they take on board the amount of food available rather than the amount they actually need second is the food being consumed does not provide the raw materials the human body needs to function like proteins and minerals or the chemical compounds required to convert food into energy like vitamins enzymes and some minerals in simple terms these problems arose because it became more profitable for farmers to produce foods that had long shelf lives and for food companies to focus on speed of service rather than on nutritional content thus the wellness fortunes of the future will lie in producing and supplying food which fixes these problems more specifically the best business opportunities in food are food and dietary supplements first part is grow find sorry harvest supply transport and prepare healthy foods second is teach consumers how to choose healthy food and limit consumption consumers everywhere are now starting to mentally link what they eat today and how they feel tomorrow that means fundamental changes are occurring in people's dining habits as a result health food restaurants will move from the fringes to the mainstream a healthy cuisine will become more universally demanded thus the time is right to start building specially restaurants focused specially on healthy cuisine whoever does this right will be well positioned to become the ray croc or the dave thomas of the wellness industry next is as consumers become better educated about what their bodies need for good health they will move away from dairy products and toward wellness substitutes like soy milk and other foods made by soybeans at the present time many farms 
produce soybeans for animal feed there will be a huge opportunity to convert those farms to produce soybeans for human consumption next part is for human beings soybeans are the best low fat source of proteins carbohydrates fibers vitamins and minerals available soy also has medicinal qualities it can prevent many common diseases soy foods should be touted as the wonder food of the wellness industry but most people's diets are dictated by convention taste and convenience rather than nutritional value whoever can succeed in moving soy foods into the mainstream and making them conveniently available in the same way hamburgers are available today will be exploiting a huge wellness opportunity and will be worth backing financially for example white wave inc which produces soy milk has achieved sales exceeding 140 million dollars in 2002 and looks poised to become the first 1 billion dollar health food company of the wellness revolution others will follow next one is companies that bring vegetarian products to market are also well positioned to expand and grow for example garden burger inc pioneered the market for good tasting vegetarian burgers sold through restaurants many more products will follow entrepreneurs should either be developing vegetarian products themselves or looking for investments in companies that are in this field next is wellness entrepreneurs operating in the food industry will need to go beyond simply understanding the problems with current food themselves they will need to be equipped with an ability to explain these concepts to customers associates and potential investors thus another commercial opportunity of the future will lie in developing ways these nutritional concepts can be taught first to associates and then to target consumers the average american spends 45.6% of their food budget on meals prepared outside of the home but households with incomes of $50000 or more spend 70% of their food budget on meals outside of the home the single item that characterizes most baby boomer spending is the desire for products that remind them of their youth in restaurants they have not had much to choose from in the regard other than a few establishments with themes or menus reminiscent of earlier times but think for a moment what would happen if boomers could choose restaurants that served healthy cuisine that could actually make them younger or could slow down the effects of aging in the future cuisine like silk soy milk or garden burger meatless patties or just ordinary cuisine prepared without the addition of heavy creams or saturated fats boomers would flock to such restaurants as evidenced by the fact that such health food restaurants already exist in almost every city and most regular upscale establishments have added one or two healthy or vegetarian entries to their menu instead of being considered 
फ्रिंज टाइप फूड और समथिंग गिंगली एडेड टू रेस्टोरेंट मेन्यूज बाई टू थाउजेंड टेन हेल्दी क्यूजीन विल बी ऑलमोस्ट यूनिवर्सल वेयर एज टूडे पीपल चूज रेस्टोरेंट मोस्टली बेस्ड ऑन टेस्ट प्राइस एंड कन्वीनियंस मिलियंस विल सोन चूज रेस्टोरेंट बेस्ड ऑन द हेल्थीनेस ऑफ द क्यूजीन और हाउ दे विल फील आफ्टर वर्ल्ड पॉल पिल्जर द इकोनॉमिक इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द बेबी बूमर्स ऑन वेलनेस इज इवन स्ट्रॉगर देन देयर नंबर सजेस्ट बिकॉज दिस ग्रुप इज बिहेविंग डिफरेंटली देन एनी प्रायर जनरेशन Boomers are refusing to passively accept the aging process. Paul Pilzer. Second part, wellness medicine. Most consumers mistakenly believe their traditional healthcare providers, like doctors, hospitals, and pharmaceutical companies, will be at the forefront of the coming developments in wellness-based medicines. The only problem with that idea, however, is that wellness medicines are preventive rather than curing some sort of disease, and the traditional healthcare industry has always been reluctant to adopt any sort of preventative measures until forced to do so by public opinion. Therefore. most of the coming fortunes in wellness medicines will actually be made by people outside the sickness industry quite simply people want to be healthy fit and youthful achieving that goal will require first eating the right amount of food which is low on fat and high in nutrients unsaturated fats soy and fiber second avoiding harmful chemicals and hormones especially those contained in dairy and animal foods third taking supplements that will provide a daily supply of the 13 essential vitamins minerals and proteins fourth a reasonable and regular level of exercise with that in mind the best business opportunities in wellness medicines are first make and sell multivitamins in convenient packages second run physical exercise and wellness clinics and centers third help people make intelligent choices about healthcare next is scientists generally agree humans need 13 essential vitamins 14 essential minerals and 20 basic amino acids to properly regenerate our cellular matter a number of companies have grown very large by going into business to supply these vitamins minerals and amino acids as dietary supplements for example nutralite INC has annual sales of several multi billion dollars providing multivitamins and multi mineral food supplements this industry now has a revenues of 70 billion dollar per year it's clear other companies will enter this field and enjoy impressive growth in the next decade also look for these companies to expand their products range from dietary supplements to full meal replacements using high protein food bars running parallel with the success of the dietary supplement providers there will be huge opportunities for those who develop person to person marketing channels and systems for these products marketing and distribution of wellness products promises to be a whole new multi billion dollar industry over the next decade these systems will involve every kind of distribution network imaginable sharing knowledge about wellness medicines is also becoming a big business in 
एंड ऑफ इट सेल्फ देर इज सो मच कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी अबाउट द मेरिट्स और अदरवाइज ऑफ डायट्री सप्लीमेंट्स इन द मीडिया दैट कंज्यूमर्स हैव बिकम कन्फ्यूज एंड स्केप्टिकल इन 1999, डॉक्टर टोड कॉपरमैन एस्टैब्लिश्ड ए कंपनी कॉल्ड कंज्यूमर लैब डॉट कॉम टू टेस्ट मल्टीविटमिन्स मिनरल्स एंड हर्बल्स through a website consumers are provided with independent information about the manufacturing quality of various products in this field consumers pay a subscription of 15.95 dollar per year to receive technical reports and tests about more than 400 different dietary supplements allowing them to make better informed decisions consumerlab.com has more than 11000 paid subscribers it is clear other businesses will also emerge which will provide consumers with quality control information and facts and that this will be a highly profitable field next a number of wellness clinics have now been established worldwide and this is just the tip of the iceberg for example consumers can pay 600 dollar for a 6 hour visit to the fitness institute at the lds hospital in salt lake city utah where they will have an analysis of all body systems including a cancer screen blood and urine tests for diabetes and infections a treadmill test and analysis by a cardiologist a written evaluations of stress factors and nutritional needs hydrostatic weighing to determine body fat levels pulmonary function test to screen for lung disease orthopedic evaluation of strength and flexibility one on one wellness consulting screening tests for colon and breast cancer at the conclusion of these tests each person receives recommendations for changes in their diet exercise and stress management routines as well as a comprehensive personal wellness encyclopedia published by the fitness institute expect more and more fitness institutes or other wellness clinics to be established worldwide over the next decade at present only 15% of us adults engage in regular vigorous physical activity despite all the success of the fitness industry which is already a 24 billion dollar industry as more people become convinced of the need for a regular exercise this industry is poised for more growth in the near future many innovative programs are being developed for example club 1 offers a 3000 dollar 3 month program which includes an initial assessment of fitness level three personalized 90 minute training sessions per week educational workshops on healthy cooking and stress a final assessment of progress at completion based on this idea Club 1 has gone from startup to operating in 71 locations and generating 60 million dollar per year within just a few years. Anticipate there will be many more similar stories in the near future. Many large employers are now approaching fitness centers to have them design open and manage on site fitness facilities solely for company employees this is a win win situation 
द कंपनी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटर्स इट्स कंसर्न फॉर द वेल बींग ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज वाइल द एम्प्लॉयज ऑप्टेन एक्सेस टू ए फिटनेस फैसिलिटी विच इज कन्वीनियंट एंड फ्री एक्सपेक्ट दिस ट्रेंड टू ग्रो एंड एक्सपेंड इन द फ्यूचर एज मोर एंड मोर कंपनीज एंड पीपल पिकअप ऑन द कंज्यूमर शिफ्ट टूवर्ड्स वेलनेस देर विल बी एन इनॉर्मस शिफ्ट टूवर्ड्स वेलनेस एंड इंटरेस्ट इन दिस इन द नियर फ्यूचर थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेस एंड इंश्योरेंस एट द प्रेजेंट टाइम मैनी कंज्यूमर्स हैव हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस विच इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई देयर एम्प्लॉयर एज अ रिजल्ट एम्प्लॉयज गेट लॉक्ड इन टू वर्किंग ओनली फॉर कंपनीज दैट प्रोवाइड मेडिकल केयर इंश्योरेंस फॉर दैम एंड देयर फैमिलीज दस इफ देयर एम्प्लॉयर गोज आउट ऑफ बिजनेस एम्प्लॉयज हैव टू scramble to find someone else to work for that will provide medical cover medical costs are escalating faster than the us gross domestic product if the current rates of increase continue medical costs will double to 3 trillion dollar by 2010 and grow to exceed the gdp itself by 2050 which obviously is unsustainable and suggests a major financial disaster in looming under federal law employers cannot fire employees for medical reasons if they are still doing their job realistically however anyone who develops a chronic medical condition or has a family member who is very sick is unlikely to be able to continue doing their job compassion suggests business owners would ignore this when deciding terminations and promotions but the need for economic survival usually dedicates otherwise changes are already starting to occur For example, beginning in 2001, self-employed individuals will be able to deduct from taxable income 60% of the amount spent on health insurance for themselves and their dependents. That will directly affect the 50 million people who are self-employed in the United States. and this group will be the prime initial market for the wellness industry wellness insurance is a form of health insurance which covers expenditure on initiatives that prevent disease weight control vitamins supplements exercise etc pays for major major medical expenses above an annual deductible amount typically $2500 thus the premium business opportunities in providing wellness insurance will be help people learn how to structure and fund wellness insurance tailor wellness provides and services to consumer needs switch people from sickness insurance to wellness insurance the traditional health insurance companies are now starting to offer high deductible health policies dh hdhp which lower premiums by $3000 per year if people agree to pay the first $2500 per year of medical expenses themselves this is possible because it saves the company on its processing costs employees can elect to have hdhp if they want to without any restrictions congress has authorized 7 lakh 50000 american families to open medical savings accounts msa on an experimental basis until 
December 21, 2002. The advantage is 100% of contributions made to a MSAR deductible from gross income up to a maximum of 3,800 per year. With the entire balance of this MSA account able to be withdrawn without penalty when a person reaches age 65. There is a business opportunity teaching people how to take full advantage of medical savings accounts. Since individuals can specify what the $3,800 per annum deposition into MSA accounts can be used for a portion of this money can be allocated to expenditure on wellness items, vitamins, fitness clubs, minerals, weight control programs and other preventative treatments. Any funds which are not used on wellness investments will earn interest while in the MSA. For a healthy couple who establish an MSA in their 20s, the balance of their MSA could accumulate to more than $2,50,000 by their 50s and these funds can be used for future wellness investments. Since MSAs are used in conjugation with high deductible health insurance, the family will still be protected in the event of major medical problems. Again, assisting people to manage and grow the value of their MSA accounts is a major business opportunity. Wellness entrepreneurs will quickly develop and structure propriety wellness vehicles which take advantage of the tax laws. For example, if special versions of wellness products were available only with a doctor's prescription then customers could be reimbursed for buying those products from their current medical insurance providers or other organizations might start including wellness insurance into the monthly charges paid by members covering only a private label brand of wellness products and services the opportunities to create product and service Bundles is very large and virtually untapped. Other wellness entrepreneurs will combine a wellness insurance business with a wellness distribution business. They can target the dependents of people who are already covered by traditional health insurance, a large new market. Most licensed insurance agents are reluctant to switch people from traditional health insurance to HDHP because it pays a lower commission. This creates a great opportunity for insurance agents to offer a new type of wellness insurance service. The money consumers save on their insurance could then be channeled into other investments of offered by the agent or the agent may run his or own wellness product distribution business. Entrepreneurs setting up new businesses are already offering wellness insurance cafeteria options HDHPs with a $2,000 per year wellness spending allowance. With proper structuring, this tax-free wellness allowance can be spent on fitness club memberships, nutritional supplements or wellness counseling. The cafeteria option plan is now sweeping through most major corporations. It is the beginning of the breakdown of the employer group health insurance system in which the healthy 78% of employees pay for the unhealthy 22%. Eventually most employees will receive $2,000 tax free annual wellness spending allowance for efficacious wellness products and services. This will be the largest single factor taking the wellness industry from approximately 200 billion today to 1 trillion or more by 2010. Paul Pilzer
fourth part and the last part of this video distribution of products for most wellness products distribution costs represent around 80% of the retail cost of the product or service this suggests the greatest opportunities to make a fortune from the wellness field in the future will be will lie somewhere along that distribution chain rather than trying to find better ways to manufacture or produce new products today product distribution has two basic processes first is intellectual distribution second is physical distribution intellectual distribution educating consumers about how new products and services will improve and enhance their quality of life this is where jeff bezos and many other entrepreneurs have focused second is physical distribution physical physically moving the products and services ordered from the producers to the consumers this is where sam walton fred smith and other have excelled wellness entrepreneurs will need to ensure they have both intellectual and physical distribution capabilities in the years ahead if either side of this balance gets too far ahead of the other problem will arise with that in mind the best business opportunities for wellness product distribution will properly probably be create a category buster wellness superstore take advantage of the dynamics of the internet combine high tech and high touch together seamlessly category busters are mass merchandisers who specialize in just one category home depot pet smart comp usa toys are they open large stores which offer a broad era of products at low prices these super stones are staffed by people who are interested in the products they also offer on site classes where customers can learn more about specialists consumers are willing to travel great distances to reach these superstores allowing the category busters to open still larger stores with a greater selection and at lower prices in the future the first category buster to open a wellness themed super store or even a wellness themed mall will exploit an immense market opportunity for now and in the near term future the greatest distribution opportunities for wellness distributors will most probably be in the intellectual distribution of accurate information about wellness products and services most consumers are confused by the competing claims of various products they will welcome with open arms a reliable unbiased and scientific guide through the era of choices available whoever succeeds in developing this type of information service will do well new products and services have unique demands most consumers need to be educated on how to get the best use out of new products by a trained user they need the high touch of human assistance at the same time they also are anxious to take advantage of the latest in technology the best high tech can offer therefore person to person direct selling companies specializing in wellness products have a long growth curve ahead of them the internet excels at distributing information efficiently therefore every future wellness entrepreneur needs to 
be giving serious though to the way in which they will integrate the internet into their distribution systems this is not to say the products and services are unimportant but how the internet is integrated into the distribution of wellness products is critical wellness products lend themselves particularly well to a direct factory to home automatic replenishment system this is because when a consumer finds a wellness products they like that product will be purchased again and again wellness entrepreneurs would do well to make note of this characteristic and incorporate replenishment systems into their business models of the future traditionally the largest components cost in products and services were in variable per unit physical manufacturing cost and physical distribution cost expensive raw materials and hand labor made up the bulk of manufacturing expenses and went up or down with each unit produced but today most of the expense in making products and services are in research and development costs and intellectual distribution costs this applies almost 100% of new products and services like software entertainment communication and especially wellness products whose costs are composed almost entirely of r&d and marketing expenses thus the nature of the opportunity in manufacturing and in distribution is changing especially for products with low marginal manufacturing or physical distribution costs like wellness products and services paul pilzer teaching consumers about wellness products and services intellectual distribution is the greatest entrepreneurial opportunity now and for the foreseeable future paul pilzer a few wellness entrepreneurs will emerge as the billionaires and media darlings of the new century hundreds of thousands more wellness entrepreneurs will become millennials approximately 2.5 million new us millennials will be created in the next 5 years many of whom will be making their fortunes in wellness paul pilzer when you focused succeed in getting consumers to try your wellness product and they have a positive wellness experience they typically become voracious consumers of more wellness products and services products and services produced or distributed by both you and by your wellness competitors as you go out each day to market your wellness products and services you carry a message more important than the product or service you are trying to sell underlying the pitch for each wellness product is the notion that your customers can take control of their lives and begin a road to wellness paul pilzer so thank you so much the last for watching this video until the end please do subscribe and share if you do like we'll meet you in the next video tab tak ke liye see you and have a great day